so here you can see uh, multiple uh, first of all la in tally dot erp9 we were having the option of alt f3 where we will we were getting the option of security control but now security option you can see over here under the configuration and one important thing we have that is user management okay user management is very important so if i'm admin and if i have to uh, set something or about uh, uh, to my users i want to create my users how i can do the necessary thing how, how i can uh, uh, given how i can give the access to them and how i can set the passwords and the password policies and the role that is very important for the user management so for this i'll just explain that first option we have the change user okay so now for changing the user so a was the user and if you want to change the user to the b so directly by clicking on the change the user you can change the user from here okay you can change the user from here so i'll just if you click on the company if you have another user you can log in with that user also so you need not go to back you need not shut the company you do not need to shut the company again and open with the new password and id from here itself you can click on the change user and you can change the user and you do your work without shutting your company okay so that's a beautiful option you have second option change password so if you want to change the password right now during this uh, uh, during this uh, open company with this open company you can change it out you can mention old password so i'll just mention old password okay and i'll set the new password you can see i have set the new password and i'll just accept this one and if i shut the company and open again i will i can open with the new password so here i i'll go so here i'll mention this one and here i will mention my new password okay and you can see i have changed my password so this is how you can change your password also third very important users and passwords so now you can see i have the few users okay and i can set password from them okay so ram is the user i can set password for ram sham so whatever role i want to assign i can assign the role and i can make the user here itself we will be having an one option of configuration it's very important to have that option of configuration suppose i set the username everything and if ram gets leaves our organization if ram leaves our organization we can inactive his we can inactive his user status okay he won't be able to access his id and password so if it's possible so anyone can't use his uh, owner name and uh, username and password if you put it as a inactive okay so i'll just make it active again and here right hand side we have the apply password policy so what is the password policy we will see that and how to enable this password policy that we'll see here we have an one more option allow browser access so if you want anyone wants to allow the browser access to anyone you can access you can make it uh, uh, browser access as a yes or remote access as a yes okay or if you if anyone wants to make uh, allow the tdl for the person they can allow the tdl for the person also so these are the functions you can enable and give the proper access to your users okay so user management is total about these things so now you can see you can allow remote access you can allow local file td uh, uh, local file for tds you can use that user also so next we will be having under the company option if i click on their user roles okay what user role stands for suppose i make a user a as uh, as a user so this is my user and i can apply this user to many people okay so what user a will have the rights so use basic facilities of you can see right hand side we have the options of owner tele dot net tele auditor tele user okay so these are the basic things we will be having at the time of at the time doing of uh, uh, this uh, security test okay if you want to skip that you can skip that or if you want to add, give anything like owner you can give or if you want to provide any de detail to anything you can provide here we will be having days allowed to backdated voucher you can mention that ha that much days of backdated entry is possible if you want to put the cut off date so once the gst gets filed you can give the cut off date and uh, before that months uh, anyone after 10 uh, 10 days 
previous month it entries will get stop and no one can uh, no one can access the data before the 30th april okay that rule you can set you can set a rule for export or email upload and here if you want to disallow something dis disallow user some to do something from so if we want he cannot alter the things so you can make disallow alter so if you if you if you feel that he should not uh, alter the voucher so you can click on the voucher so it you are disallowing him to alter the vouchers so if you give want to give access of something you can give full access for what uh, which which full access you want to give so suppose if you want to give a full access of gst reports so you can give the full access of gst return okay so this is how you can set the allowed and disallowed thing disallow thing and allow things in a proper way okay so the things will be get will get allowed and disallowed likewise so these are the basic things of the uh, security level and that security level you can apply to anyone you can you can go to the users and password and you can see user a is the security level you can apply it to the multiple person okay so that access will get applied to everyone and lastly we have the very beautiful option of uh, password policy under the password policy if you enable this you can set minimum length of password should be eight if you want to give a parameter that your one alphabet um, alpha uh, numeric uh, alpha character will be there one alpha numeric character will be there one spe special character will be there okay you can set like that uh, your password before expiry uh, password automatically should expire in the 90 days if you feel like that your password will get expired within 90 days if you want to notify before five days so it will notify you before five days okay then uh, restrict the user of the uh, of old password if you want to restrict the user to uh, uh, to use old password you can make it yes okay so how many days uh, how, number of old password to be restricted you can set here and here we'll be having an option of chase change password on the first login so if we created all the ids and password uh, of the user and if you need user can log in with your id and password and afterward they can change as per their requirement you can make this option yes then once the user log in it will tell you automatically first tell him that change your id and password put i put old id and password and change with your new id and password so that facility also we have in a password policy so at the time of setting a password policy we can do these things in a proper way so this is how we can set the password policy and we can do the necessary.